time to get ready for bed. No, it's not time to brush our teeth yet. But I always brush my teeth before going to bed. Yes, but there are other bedtime things me and Rosie do first. Oh, like what? Yet, Raggles? <laughs> Almost! <laughs> hmm. Now, where will I be sleeping tonight? Raggles' hammock. It's lovely and comfy. And... I can't sleep in that. I need a nice, comfy nest. Oh, maybe I can make one for you. Hmm. If you hold that there, and I just wind this around like that. Oops. <sighs> Can't you sleep? No. It feels strange without Rosie. I look up at the stars when I can't sleep. Do you know what they're called? They've got names. Yes. See that group of stars there? It's called the Great Bear. Wow! Just like you. Is there a great rabbit, too? <laughs> I wonder what Raggles is doing right now. Maybe he's struggling to get to sleep, too. Oh, I still can't sleep. Try counting the stars. <sighs> one, two, three, four, five. Oops, I missed one. One, two, three, four, five. Ooh, that's a pretty one. Oh, I've lost count. Um, one, two, three. Bluebird, are you awake? Bluebird. <laughs> <sighs> Sorry, Bluebird. I didn't mean to wake you. <laughs> Raggles does that to me all the time. <sighs> I miss him. Sometimes he drives me mad with all the noise and mess and the way he's so clumsy. But you know what? I even miss that too. <laughs> That's nice, Rosie. Oh dear, what a night. Did you get any sleep, Raggles? No, I don't think so. Is it time for our stupendous breakfast yet? Not quite. I think we need a nice walk in the fresh air to perk us up first. Come on, let's go. I'm sorry for keeping you awake, Bluebird. It's okay, Rosie. I think I know just the thing to cheer you up. Really? I'll be right back. Are we going to see Rosie? What about our stupendous breakfast? <laughs> There's plenty of time for breakfast. <sighs> I'll get to Big Bear's, take Raggles to Rosie, then I'll finally get some sleep. <sighs> oh. Is this it? Will's ginormous breakfast treat. Yes, yeah, sorry. When I had my snack, I must have eaten all the ingredients. Sorry, Holly. Oh, that's okay. <sighs> I'm still hungry. I know. Let's go to Big Bear's. I'm sure he'll have enough for us, too. Yoo-hoo! Big Bear! Raggles? Oh, where are they? Hey, Big Bear, we came for breakfast. Bluebird? Where's Big Bear? He's gone. And Raggles has disappeared too. Let's find Rosie. She'll know what to do. Rosie! Rosie? 
She's not here. Don't worry, Raggles. We'll find her. Big Bear, where could she be? Raggles, Big Bear, we found you. But where's Rosie? <sighs> Rosie! Oh, Raggles, I missed you so much. I couldn't sleep. <laughs> Me too, Rosie. I came to get some apples for your welcome home treat. An apple and strawberry crumble. Mmm, yum. Now, can we finally get some sleep? <laughs> oh, I hope so. <laughs> Yes, no stupendous or ginormous breakfast after all. Unless... <laughs> oh, no! I've overslept! Overslept for what? Stupendous, stupendous ginormous breakfast time! This is the best stupendous ginormous breakfast ever. It's cold. The window must be open. Raggles, what are you doing? I'm pretending to be an owl, Rosie. My bird book says that if you hoot like an owl, a real owl will hoot back. Really? Have you heard one yet? Mm, not yet. I'd better do some more hooting. <laughs> I told you I could hear a funny noise, Will. These beetles must be freezing out here in the cold. Not as cold as I am, Holly. Whew. Would you like me to find a little box for you to sleep in? Holly, they're wild animals. They're used to the outdoors. I know, Will, but it is cold and it's only for one night. <gasps> wow! Did you hear that, Holly? Hear what? It sounded like an owl. There it is again. Maybe I can get it to come closer. <gasps> there is an owl out there. Here you are, little beetles. I've made you a bed. Now you'll be cosy and warm. <laughs> I don't see why the beetles need to sleep in a box, Holly. Shush now, beetles. It's bedtime. Night night. to hide so I can find my owl friend. <sighs> Big Bear's still sleeping too. Maybe a fairy has put a magic sleeping spell on all of us. Wakey, wakey. Oh, oh, oh. Hello, Rosie. Oh, have I slept in? We all did, and we don't know why. <laughs> well, I normally get woken up early by the Maudies tapping on my window like... <coughs> Sorry, we 
we're late, Big Bear. I'm afraid we... Slept, slept a, a bit, bit too long. long. I didn't hear Bluebird singing the dawn chorus. She normally wakes us up, you see. It was so cold last night, so I made them a little bed out of this box. But then they wouldn't go to sleep. And now they haven't woken up. But even if they had, the darters wouldn't have heard them from behind the banana tree. So that's why no one woke up on time. Oh, Rosie, it's my fault. I've broken the dawn chorus. It's OK, Holly. We can fix it. We just need to put the purple beetles where everyone can hear them. <laughs> I think we may need some help, Holly. I'm really close. Don't want to scare him. Woohoo! Woohoo! Yes! Mustn't scare him away. Raggles? Let me think. Hmm. Ah, straw. That's what they need. There. One beetle house. They like it. Well done, everyone. Did you find your owl, Raggles? There isn't any owl. It was Will. We've been hooting at each other since last night. I thought Raggles was a real owl and he thought I was. I might as well throw this stupid owl caller away. Um, Rosie, Holly, we've got a problem. Listen. Uh, I can't hear anything. Exactly. The straw is muffling the sound of the beetles. <laughs> Oh, the Darties will never hear that. Oh, Rosie, does this mean we'll all sleep in again tomorrow? Hmm. <gasps> well, how does your owl caller work? Well, you make a sound this end and it comes out through here, only bigger. I think it's going to be very useful after all. Some shade. Oakley. Hi, Oakley. Oh, come and have a cool down under my leaves. It's even too hot to play football. This really is the place to be on a hot day. And we're not the only ones, Rosie. There's Mr. and Mrs. Mordy, the dormice, and their family. <laughs> Ed the earthworm. Hello, Ed. Ooh. Bouncy, bouncy, bouncy. And the little acorns. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Oh, yes. I'm quite a popular tree on a hot day. <laughs> You're like an Oakley Hotel. Oh, of course. What a deliciously perfect idea. Oh, let's make Oakley a proper hotel. A hotel all small creatures can stay in. Ooh. Oh. Can I wear a uniform? I could welcome everyone. Yes, the doorman. And I will make the perfect hotel manager. 
in charge of everything. Do you really want to be a hotel, Oakley? Well, I like looking after my friends, so why not? Oh. There, a lift to take the guests to their rooms. Up here will be the best room, the penthouse suite. These nests will be dry and cosy for our guests. And these horns and bells will be perfect for calling for room service. <laughs> we make quite a team, you and I. Hmm, I make quite a hotel manager. Ahem, welcome to the Hotel Oakley. Here are my staff to look after your every wish. Here's Raggles, the doorman, to welcome you all. And Holly, the waitress, ready to take orders for lunch and give them to Big Bear, the chef. And finally, we have Will, our bellboy, ready to take your bags to your room. And Rosie, the hotel housekeeper. Are we too late for a room? I want a warm, cosy room with the best view. Oh, these geckos don't travel light. The perfect room for a gecko, warm and light. Enjoy your stay. Ooh, what about that big nest up there? Uh, that's Bluebird's nest, but, uh, no, oh, why not? It's the warmest and lightest in the hotel. Come on up. Ah, that's more light. Okie dokie, okie dokie. Off you go, little acorns. This nest is for guests. Is to your liking? We did ask for hazelnuts, not a rotten apple. Ooh. Waiter, we ordered raspberries, not hazelnuts. I, uh, uh, I'm sorry, madam. I shall, uh... Excuse me, madam. Back in just a second. Oh. What are they doing in my nest? Um, I think Ed needs an apple. But what's wrong? No one has got what they ordered. All the food is wrong. Do you think I should have written down what everyone wanted? That might have made it easier to remember. What do you think of the Oakley Hotel, Little Acorns? No lucky lucky. Who said the Darties could have my nest? Me. And they love it. Happy guests, eh? Next time, I tell the guests where they can go. What sad little acorns. Where are they going? Can we have our food now, please? Very tired. Working at this hotel is hard work. But everyone's happy now they've got their food. What's for dessert? <coughs> what is it, Ed? Uh, you're thirsty? Mm. I'll get you some water. It's okay, Ed. Manny's here. I'll take that. I'm the hotel manager. I fetched it. But I'm in charge. Uh -oh. Uh oh! Oh, it feels like rain. <gasps> this sort of thing does not happen at home. We've got all the guests a present. Something to make you feel more at home. Here you go, from the sunflowers in my garden. Oh, our favourites. Thanks, Rosie. One squishy ripe apple from the orchard. Your favourite bosberries, Mr and Mrs Darty. Oh, thank you, Rosie. What's wrong? We love sleeping in your shade on a hot day, Oakley. But these sunflower seeds remind us of our home. Mr Maud is right. We all miss our real homes. 
We want to sleep in our own beds tonight. And I only want my friends to be happy. Maybe Safi is right. Maybe your home is where your heart is. Oh, and we've got something for you too, Oakley. Welcome home! <laughs> oh, thanks, Rosie.